Na, mit Brad Pitt vorgehen, jetzt ist es so, ciao. What the fuck am I wearing? Pants. I don't know. So where do I start? Last year, I was doing pretty high. Right. At least at the beginning of the year. Started the YouTube channel up. You know, little growth, little growth. Niggas start asking you, hitting you up for what, taxes and shit. Pardon if I'm always like doing, 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 doing that. It's because like the sun just stay in my eye this entire fucking time. So anyway, my year started off with me finally going, I guess I'm gonna trust this motherfucking insurance. Cause I don't, oh shit, Trump's left, nigga. Oh fuck. Gotta look behind me, you know, you never know now, nah, goddamn. Trump's America, nigga. Oh, they got a key. You want that? Anyway, so first off, a lot of times when I eat, like, I can feel, like, a slight pain, like, I'm using my left hand. Sometimes it's my right, but usually it's my left hand. Definitely, like, if it's, like, cake or something like that, I feel it kind of weird. That's high in salt or something like that. I don't know if I say it's a pain or something like that, but it ain't comfortable. You know what I mean? So I go to the doctor. The doctor basically tells me I'm pre-diabetic, which, shit, let's be real. If you're going to get told you're pre-diabetic, nigga, you diabetic. You might as well have to tell me I'm dying right now because I done watched way too many seasons of cake balls, nigga, so you can't... <laughs> Can't take those back. I'm on the way out. All last year I was going up and down in the way. I probably gained maybe I guess 20 pounds in the past year. 15, 12, 15. There's very few people that I usually end up listening to. You know, there's just certain people. Some people, you know, there's people that just influence you in a way where they can say the same thing somebody else said. You just gonna go do it. There's a particular person told me, look, you might as well just go get the medicine, see if it helps you lose the weight, try to work off the progress from there. Well, I said, alright, cool. Went and got the medicine. Start trying to take it. I was off and on about that shit. That being said, now, uh, the sleep apnea I usually get when I'm usually a fatty, fat, fat. I'm going to sleep, have a shitty ass sleep. Fatty, fat, fuck, fuck you. Anybody who don't know about sleep apnea, I guess basically, even when you sleep, you don't get dope ass sleep. You'll be tired two hours later, three hours later. A couple years ago, they told me I had what they call severe abnormal sleep apnea. What that mean? You gon' die, nigga. That means that, you know, your throat closing up all the time. That means that it affects my singing and stuff. I've been through, like, 89,000 car accidents in the past two years alone. Two. Wasn't my fault, though. Is it still your fault if you unconscious, nigga? That's taking the toll on my body. Go to chiropractor. I'm pretty diabetic. I'm pretty sure that means I'm gonna get hypertension any fucking moment now. Pretty sure. If I don't already have it. My voice is taking a hit. So I gotta make more music. And in order to make more music, in order to do more work, in order to do everything else like that, I need my voice, which I don't have because I'm too busy not breathing and choking and dying in my motherfucking sleep. The year goes on, something happens with the gym where I ended up having to pay these dudes a whole bunch of money. So if somebody didn't file the certain paperwork, I ended up still paying money because I was in a contract or, or still owing money, whatever it was. Ball out city. That means I got hella personal training. So I wait because I wanted to make sure that I was in the comfortable stage before I just went in. So I go to the gym, 24 sessions. I think I used like six of them. I was doing kind of all right or whatever like that. Started going hard. Started doing the diet. I was on point. Started doing the workouts. I was damn near spotless. Remember that person I told you that influenced me? Long story short, not part of my life no more. In the same time, things went down with that. Maybe even a couple hours, like two, three hours right before that, I get an egg white delight. So I eat the egg white delight, feeling nauseous. I go to the bank, I go home. I'm like, yo, you have probably really about to throw up, bro. It's a very violent experience for me. It's the projectile, crazy, whatever, right? I get home in the driveway, and the moment I open the door, everywhere. I mean, it's throwing me back. I throw up maybe, once or twice every couple years. It's so bad. Usually when anything like that happens, my body starts to reject everything. It was a mixture of things. I don't know, but I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. That trifecta of events basically shut me down. I stopped going to the gym because I just couldn't find it in me. My body didn't want to do stuff no more, whatever. And after that, I just... So now I'm a fatty fat fat. The holidays come around. Y'all, my favorite pie, long story short, 
there's an ingredient in my favorite pod where if I eat too much of it, my eczema starts to act up all over my blood. So now I'm trying to work on my project. And my voice doesn't seem to kick back in fully where I needed to kick back in. I'm like, bro, <laughs> like, so I'm fat, losing talents by the moment. My muscles start completely over. There ain't nothing there. And one thing that I know for a fact is that I can't keep going this way because it doesn't help me with what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to accomplish. So I got to do something.